Hey everyone, Dr. Luke Peterson here, physical therapist with the Knee Replacement Therapist. In this episode of the Knee to Know Show, we're going to talk about swelling after knee replacement surgery. What is normal and what can you do if you're continuing to have swelling long after your surgery? So first thing to say is that swelling is completely normal part of the healing and recovery process especially early on after surgery those first weeks, those first few months, probably almost everyone is going to have some degree of swelling. Now, what we, where this variation starts to occur is how long that swelling lasts. So for the majority of people, the swelling is going to gradually decrease over time. So when I say, say that, I mean that the intensity and the amount and volume of swelling will decrease over time and the frequency of having these episodes because you're going to have times where you have increased swelling, times when the swelling's a little bit lower. It's very normal to have these ups and downs, but the intensity and the amount of the peaks will be lower and the frequency of getting those increases in swelling will be less frequent too over time. Now this can occur for some people over a number of weeks. For most people it will probably take anywhere from a few months up to about six months. But there's also a good chunk of individuals after surgery who may take six months to a year to really notice the swelling going down to very low, very manageable levels. And for a few folks, it may even take longer than that. But of course, even after this, after most of the swelling has gone away and you um, don't necessarily have it in your normal day-to-day -day activities, you can still have these episodes and times where maybe you do some increased activity, a lot of walking, whatever it may be, and you get a little bit of a flare-up, so to speak, and have some increased swelling and stiffness in the knee. This is common to have these episodes every now and then, even after surgery. So let's talk about what we can do to manage this swelling and manage it effectively. So first let's talk about in that acute short-term phase, kind of in that normal range of the first months after surgery. Well, you want to focus on some of the things I'm sure you've heard many times before, things like elevation. So getting that leg up, getting it, um, making sure it's up high enough, so above the level of the heart. So laying down, stacking it up on a bunch of pillows or a bolster or whatever you may have available, and really making sure you're getting it up high, getting enough bend and flexion of the, of the hip and of the leg to really get the benefits. There's also compression, so this could be intermittent compression through some sort of machine or device. It could be wearing compression garments, compression stockings that may be prescribed by your surgeon. And it could be through a wrap or a bandaging um, that you can put on and take off as appropriate to help manage the swelling as well. And then the next thing, of course, is icing. Icing has a couple of different benefits. One is helping manage pain, but also it can be helpful for swelling management as well. And I always like to encourage everyone to incorporate, you know, more than one of these things at a time. You can definitely elevate the leg and put some compression on it and put an ice pack. You could do all three things at the same time. However, probably one of the best ways and arguably the best way to manage swelling is with just some gentle muscle contraction type exercises or gentle movements. And the reason for this is swelling and fluid in your legs and in your body is managed through your circulatory system, so your veins, um, blood and fluid pumps take goes from your veins back up to the heart and into the system. And then there's, then there's also your lymphatic system. So the veins, they don't have any active pump. So for the arteries, they kind of contract and relax and they pump the blood out to your body. But with the veins, that pumping action, that returned flow of the blood back to your heart, that comes from contraction of your muscles. And so that's why early on after surgery, you probably were told to pump your ankles a lot up and down. And muscle contractions like that are gonna squeeze and relax those muscles and at the same time squeeze and relax your veins and pump that fluid back up to the heart and keep it from pooling or increasing and causing some swelling. So muscle contractions like ankle pumps are great and probably the most common one you hear, but also just getting up and going for a walk or doing some light bending and straightening type exercises that you may have gotten from your physical therapist can be just as helpful. 
So those are the ways in kind of that acute early on phase, the most common things. Now let's kind of talk about if you're someone who has more than average swelling. So swelling that lasts longer than usual or is more significant, more intense than usual. Now we kind of want to look at some different methods. So possibly you may be prescribed some medicine from your doctor. Um, there's anti-inflammatories, but there's also diuretics. So diuretics helping to control um, your blood pressure, control your fluid levels in your body. LASIK is probably the most common one you might have heard of, or LASIK. And then there's also things just like lifestyle um, type things that you can do. So making sure you're staying plenty hydrated at all the time. I know this might seem counterintuitive, but being well hydrated is actually gonna help manage your swelling effectively and kind of flush out that fluid and get it moving through your body better. You also wanna focus on how much salt you're taking in in your diet. So salt or sodium, um, trying to limit that and reduce that as much as you can is another key lifestyle thing you can think of. And also decreasing and limiting caffeine. So that can be really helpful as well. And then of course also incorporating all the things I talked about with the compression, elevation, muscle contractions, ankle pumps, icing, are all very important um, as well with this. Now for some people you might just have some deficits, for lack of a better term, in your body's ability to manage fluid and manage swelling. Um, this may again be something to do with your your veins, your circulatory system, or maybe it's something to do with your lymphatic system. So if you are someone who is having this prolonged swelling in a lot of episodes of flare-ups and um, increased intense swelling or just very significant volumes and amounts of swelling, then it's very likely and very beneficial probably to reach out to your doctor or reach out to a physical therapist who specializes in the circulatory cardiovascular system and or someone who is specialized in lymphatic, um, the lymphatic system and lymphatic health. And I know there's physical therapists who are lymphatic massage, lymphatic treatment specialized type therapists who can be really helpful and really beneficial when it comes to dealing with swelling after surgery or any other time um, throughout your life. So those are some of the options out there, some of the recommendations I would provide you. I hope this gave you some helpful advice and information. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications if you're interested in all videos related to knee replacement surgery, frequently asked questions, exercises, details of the surgery and recovery. Um, and also please be sure to leave any comments and questions you have and I'll be sure to get back to you in a timely fashion. Thank you very much for watching.